Today, we have a very exciting day. We are finally gonna stay at the Yacht Club here at Disney World. We've been wanting to stay here for years. They had a really good special deal going on. We also used a gift card. So we thought, let's go spend the night, show this resort off, and just really enjoy our night here at the Yacht Club. Let's go check it out. Now check in, you gotta stop at the little gate there and show your ID. And then he said you can park either on the right or left hand side, uh, valets up front. But if you only have a few bags, or even if I guess if you have a lot of bags, you can go up to the guest check-in right up there, drop your stuff off and then come back out here and park. We went ahead and parked because we're only here for one night. So we only have a couple bags, but we're gonna be heading that way right there. Now hopefully the weather holds out and it doesn't just come a downpour. However, we did bring our raincoats because we still want to do a tour of the resort tonight. Most of it is inside, minus like the pools and such. But we'll do a room tour, lobby tour, pool tour, and then let you know how everything sleeps tomorrow morning. Now, this is considered a deluxe resort, one of the nicer deluxe resorts on Disney property. And as far as a room goes, we just got a standard room. Sometimes they will upgrade you. Um, however... Right now, Disney is running a deal where Florida residents or annual pass holders can get 30% off room rates. We just got a standard room, which is the lower end room. Look at this bridge. And so normally a standard stay at a resort like this, it's around $700 a night. With the discount, a standard room is about $400, not including the tax. And then, like I mentioned before, we had a gift card. So honestly, we got a stay pretty cheap. Um, and that's how we're able to stay here. A normal rate of $700, no way we would be staying here. You can see over here is the bus stop. And then right this way, where you can pull under for guest check-in. Also the airport shuttle signs right there. And here is a look at the covered area i always like getting a covered area in here so you can see what it looks like it looks very nice curious to see what these rooms are going to be like we have never stayed here it's been a goal of ours all right we're getting ready to head in here we have done a couple videos at this resort like for the gingerbread houses at christmas time never had the luxury to stay wow it's nice and dark in here so here's what the lobby looks like a nice huge globe right here. It looks like check-in, I'm guessing, is right over here. Let's see, what's it say? Welcome to Disney Yacht Club Resort. So check-in's right here. All right, we just got checked in. We'll show the lobby here in a second. There's a little TV for kids that they can watch, but we're gonna go up to the room so we can set our luggage down. And they said the elevators are this way. So we'll go ahead, set our luggage down and come back down and show the rest. But first, here's the map super quick we can go over this upstairs but big pool here she said we're in we're on floor three room three one eight eight lobby is right behind us elevators are right here holy smokes everybody's going up on the elevator right now all right we are on the third floor so it looks like we're gonna come this way ice machine right there looks like they only had five total floors in here and we're on floor three three one eight eight right here set our stuff down and then show you a tour all right let's do the tour so as soon as you come in you have a coffee station here what's, what's this oh there's your refrigerator then you have Nice built-ins. Ooh, a really nice closet. Light comes on when you open the doors. You got some more storage. Oh, there's your ironing board and iron and your safe. And here is the room. Again, this is just a standard room. It does come with a balcony, which is really nice. Two queen beds. They made us a little Mickey 
towel. Got a little table over there to set your phone on, which is really nice. Of course, the table there. Um, look at all of this storage. You do have access to another room if you were doing like a combined two rooms. Extra blanket. I mean, there's a ton of storage here. So that's nice. Nice TV. What's this? Is this a... Looks nice and cozy. Does it give us some instructions here? Mm -hmm. Why, while you figure that out, <laughs> I'm gonna continue this. There is the extra space under the beds that you can put your storage, like your luggage in. Get in Holy Bible. Nice little small drawers. That's cool if you want to like put your phone in or something, but places to charge your phone there, places to charge your phone there. Hmm. Oh, you got it? Look at that. I didn't know it came with that. Twin yep. Places to charge stuff, places to charge stuff. And then over here we have the desk area, which has more USBs and outlet. A nice mirror. I love the theming on this wall and in here. An overview of what it looks like this way. Another little table that you can just set your phone on. It's almost like a drinking table there. And then let's go outside. Of course, the weather looks kind of rough. There we go. It's nice they give you this little balcony that you can come out here and sit at. And if we would have, I think it was like 30 or 40 more dollars, you could have upgraded and had like a resort view instead of just the parking lot view. Because there's the entrance right there. But for one night, we didn't want to pay the extra money. Just kind of a tree view, really. But I hope you heard that. I don't know. <laughs> Probably oh, I just jumped. Okay, um, we're gonna yeah, <laughs> we're gonna head back in. Wow. Okay, so here's this side. Whew. I love the um, good grief, the pictures on the wall. Now we're gonna go maybe use the restroom after that, but show you the restroom. If we walk this way, here is what the restroom looks like. So we've got oh a nice lighted mirror, dual sinks, plenty of storage there. Then in here, there's your toilet, there's your shower. Let's see what the shower looks like. Just standard shower, standard shower. That's a look of everything. I like those little lights. Those are nice. And then there we are. Those are really cool lights. That's it. That's an overview of just a standard room here at the Yacht Club. Like I mentioned before, we are going to show you the lobby. It was re really crowded, actually, just because um, I think people were trying to come in from the rain. She did say, our cast member that helped us, It was her name was Bree. She was very helpful. She did say that if it rains, let's do a little overview here. If it rains, the boats will not take you to the parks. So that'll close down the pool, close down. The only way you could get to the park is with the bus stop or walking. And the Skyliner would be closed. But here's an overview of the Yacht Club. So we also did several videos at the Beach Club Resort where we ate at Beaches and Cream. They are connected. So the large pool, the one that has a really awesome pool with like the sand bottom, it's right here in the middle. We're over on this wing. In fact, like just right over here. So this little half is Yacht Club. This half is Beach Club. I'm sure this is just a typical bed like all the other ones are. But the bed test. Yep. Yeah. Feels good. You can, you can tell when you're at a deluxe resort, they up it a little bit more than your moderates. But eventually, we want to stay everywhere. Like that's on our bucket list to stay at every single resort so that we know which is our favorite. Now, also, it looks like they put a hundred dollar hold on your card that you'll get back once you leave. And as of recent, I think just this year, there is it does not cost to park at the resorts anymore, which is really nice but it looks like they do put a, an incidental hold on your card for the time being. Um, other than that, 
we're getting ready to show you around the resort. All right, back out in the hallway, we're gonna take the elevators down. We put on our raincoats so that we could go outside and walk around. I do like the flooring, the carpet they used in here. That's neat. All right, back by the elevators and there's quite the line to get on the elevator. We're gonna head over to the lobby first, kind of do a lap around the lobby. So this is where we came into the elevators at. Over here on the left-hand side, it's where we checked in. See, they have pin trading, the boats behind them. Like I showed a second ago, here's a little TV that the kids can watch movies on, little seating area. These doors up here on the left are the ones that we came in after we parked. Another seating area. Bell services right here. If we come this way, got a little screen, shows the park hours. Looks like there's a convention center this way. So let's continue walking. Look at this. Four diamond award. That's neat. That's a really cool thing. This way, you would go outside, walk that way to the convention center, which I don't think we'll do. Looks like there's a large party coming this way. So there, <laughs> there is a Chase ATM right there. We're gonna come back this way. Over here, we have the Ale and Compass Lounge. Looks like you could go in there and get a drink. Hours are 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. Then you have the Ale and Compass restaurant, which is through these doors. That looks really nice. They do have a menu right here. So pretty expensive, but not as bad as I was thinking. Here's that large party that came from the convention center. All right, that was crazy. Now let's walk to the other side of the lobby. I like how they've got all these models of boats sitting out and about. Also, there's a big globe. That's pretty cool. They do have towels right here that people can dry off, they said, with the uh, rain. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good. But they've got towels that you can dry off. Next, there's an upstairs. We'll head up to the upstairs area. You can hear the thunder in the background. Look at this, they've got a little wheel, boat wheel. Get good picture opportunity at. That makes for a really good picture. I like that. And it spins. Here's an overview of the lobby again. I do like how it has dim lights in here. Another view of that carpet again, the themed carpet. Not sure what the upstairs is. Maybe rooms? Looks, oh yeah, probably like nice suites. Some fine china. Little lounge area. Look at this. Oh <laughs> yeah. That's low. Comfy? Comfy? Are they? Decorations in here are really cool. And then this just essentially takes you to the second floor, so there's rooms down all that way. I do think these are probably really nice rooms up here that have the locks on them, so we definitely aren't staying in any of those. All right, I think we're gonna head back this way because that large group's gone and go around the corner. I know I think that way will attach to the beach club, but we'll walk that way, see if there's anything that way, and then go right beneath us this way and finish the tour up there. Passing back by the globe, we're gonna head to this right-hand side. Not sure what what is this way even, but I also like how they have all of these knots. Several of them. 
we go this way, what's it say? Oh, we've got the steakhouse, beaches and cream. If we head this way, look at these. Yeah, it's raining a little bit and there's people walking. We turn this way. Yeah, it definitely looks like, hi, right, doing good, thank you. Looks like the pool is definitely closed right now. We'll go outside in here in just a second, so. Man, it's, oh. Looks like that's not open yet. Here are some restrooms. Look at this big sailboat. There's the Yachtsman Steakhouse. Here is the Cruise Cup Lounge. Hmm. Everybody's gathered inside, but the Yachtsman Steakhouse. Here is the menu for that. That one is expensive. Look at the Brussels sprouts though. Yeah, I just missed that one, but there was lightning right there. This way takes you outside to take you over to the beach club. Definitely not gonna go out that way right now. And we might have to wait on the pool uh, tour until this storm passes because that was a huge thing of lightning. So we're gonna head back through the lobby to the other side. Back in the lobby. It's getting very crowded in here because everybody's coming in to get out of the rain. But now we're gonna head across past the globe again to this side of the resort. I think there's a gift shop and we'll see if there's anything else before we do the outside tour. And hopefully by then, I mean, it is just pouring down outside. It's pouring, but hopefully by then we can head on outside. They have a little sign here that shows a little bit of everything. And then a map shows where we're at. And then if we go this way, they have the market at Ale Compass, which I'm guessing is maybe their gift shop. Shirts and shoes required. Oh, it's their, uh, the market. So it's like their food court area. Please use main entrance around corner, which is this way. I mean, it's coming down pretty good. Let's go this way. Here's the market, do a tour of the market. I think it also is connected to their gift shop. So we'll kind of, it's a two for one here. Here's some items they have. So yes, the right hand side is the gift shop. The left hand side is the market. So let's start with the market. See what all they've got. It's like some popcorn here. Here's some different prices. It's kind of like a grab and go. So fruit, cereals, muffins, croissants, cookies. Over here, they've got like beverages, some wine. Over here, tea, ice cream, Mickey's ice cream bar, Mickey's ice cream sandwich. So I have a microwave, some coffee, some grab and go candy, chips, some iced tea, Coke freestyle machine. And then pick up right here. Now we're gonna head over to the gift shop side. We've got some towels, some shirts, some hats. This is a smaller gift shop for sure. I don't know if they have pin trading in this gift shop. I know they had it up front at check in. This is a lot smaller than the beach club gift shop. Do they have the, we need to now get a Yacht Club pin. So we'll have to try to find one of those somewhere. 
This is a pretty small gift shop, honestly. Just a little, little gift shop. And if we look over here at the pins, we definitely need to see if they have a yacht club one. If not, I know of a place we can get one, but beach club, yeah, I bet the beach club does have one. I'm not currently seeing them in this gift shop. Look at this neat yacht club ornament. All right, I guess we'll head back and go left out of here. Let's see what else is this way. I think it's just rooms. I think, golly, it's still just pouring down rain. We are not going to be walking to Epcot yet because too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> also shows the pool. Is there another pool? There's like a little courtyard area. It says pool this way. I guess that tennis court pool. I'm not going to go out here, but here's the tennis court. There's a pool right there. It looks like maybe a smaller pool but it's just pouring down rain. All right, that's pretty much the tour of the resort minus the pool. Can't do much until it stops raining. So I think we're gonna make a separate video of eating at one of the restaurants here. So in the meantime, we'll do that and wait on the weather to cooperate a little bit more. Then we can pick back up and head outside, show the rest of the resort. But for now, I think I'm gonna pause it as we transition to another video. It looks like it stopped raining. Also, as a side note, like when we're on the elevator, Mickey or Minnie, one of them, will make a noise. Yeah, they'll announce the floor. That right there. Luckily, that meal was long enough to where it's not raining anymore outside. So we can now finish our tour of the resort. I think we'll go ahead and go outside right here. We did eat over this way, so when you walk this way, you do go outside, but the positive thing is, it's actually covered. It's kind of like a covered walkway over there, so you actually don't end up getting wet at all. But we'll walk over that way because the um, fitness room and the arcade and the pool all in this area. But you can see here are the grounds for the yacht club. Now a fun fact is right up here, in this little corner section, at the top is called the captain's suite. Is that right? Something like, Something like that. And it's like captain's quarters and it's like their nicest room on property. I was really hoping they'd say, oh, you've been upgraded to that, but it didn't happen this time. So this is what it looks like from the exterior. And then if we walk this way, we'll get to see the pool. It's still currently closed due to lightning, but at least we can show you what it's like. Now this is probably one of the coolest pools on Disney property because it is literally like a beach. It's got a sand bottom to it. And we've actually seen people go out and like, like yeah, build a sandbar like that in the middle. How neat is that? And since it's connected to the beach club, they kind of share a very large pool area. Looks like they're not allowing us to go this way. So we got to go back in. But at least this way we can show you what that covered walkway looks like. And then right out these doors is the covered walkway. So you go out these doors. And right here is the covered walkway over to the beach club. And then for an overview, there's the yacht club pool, essentially. There's the beach club pool, essentially. But really, they're connected. Um, looks like there's a lazy river right there. It's actually nice that no one's in the pool because I can actually show the pool. Yeah. There's a little walkway um, over. We'll cross over to that side, but I know there's a slide over there. There's some cabanas over that way. I know there's the spa slash hot tub area right up there. You can see that little rock area is the spa. But really, it's all one big, massive pool, which is kind of cool. That is a cool pool. And then on this way to the beach club, here is the fitness center, open 24 hours. 
kind of see in there. And then up over here on the left, don't know if I'll get to show it or not, but there's an arcade. It's an actually, that's a really large fitness center. There's some restrooms out here. Pool hours are 10 to 11, or unless it storms. There's the spa and restrooms and showers. And then I probably won't go in there because I think it's extremely crowded, but the arcade is through here and it's open 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. And there's a ton of people in there right now playing due to the weather being crazy. Beaches and cream we've done before. It is a fantastic place to eat, super fun. We did a video at Beaches and Cream up here we have beaches and cream to go we're really not going to dig super far into the beach club resort just because this is a yacht club video and then down here at the end is the beach club lobby so we're not going to go through that way but anyway that's the grounds we'll now head out towards that way and show you that and that should be all for tonight back out to the area we were at earlier those are the doors to the lobby we're gonna to turn to the left and walk this way. One thing I do really like though about this resort, they're trash cans. They're themed trash cans. But we're gonna walk on like this boardwalk area. Now, we've stayed at the boardwalk, the actual boardwalk resort before, and that was prior to us filming. So we'll have to go back there sometime. There's right up here where this little lighthouse is. That's where um, the boats can take you to the resorts or the parks, whichever you need to go to. Looks like you can rent some boats over here. Obviously currently not right now due to the fact of the weather. And then this little walkway, you can see people the far side way down over there. That's the walkway to Epcot. And technically you can walk this way to Hollywood Studios. We'll do a quick tour out towards this lighthouse. You can see they do have a little beach area here. That is typically their water slide that goes, but again, due to I guess that's the shared water slide, right? I don't see a water slide just for the Yacht Club. I think that's just their shared one, but very cool little ship theme. And then this path right here will take you to Epcot. We've also stayed at the Dolphin before and have a video on that. It was a decent, decent place. The location was really the best thing because you could see the fireworks and you're right here next to Epcot. And then right here, you can see this, the friendship boats. They actually are running right now, but if you, the left-hand side will take you to the boardwalk and Epcot. The right-hand side will take you to the Swan and Dolphin Hotel and Hollywood Studios. Nice theming with the lighthouse. Here's their little beach area. We're gonna walk up over here by Hurricane Hannah's. Another view of the resort and the pool area. I, I like this too, so like the water, you can swim up to this side of the bridge. But on this side, it's like nature, Florida nature. Such a pretty resort. Another beach area, I know at nighttime they have like the movie, where you can watch the movie, I think up over here. But here's Hurricane Hannah's Waterside Bar and Grill. Looks like they've got a bar right there that people are sitting at. There's also currently a duck right here in front of us. Show you a little bit of the menu currently open, serving 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Here's a look at their menu. Decent stuff there. Their bar looks good. And then if we head this way, we're technically now over by the Beach Club Resort, but I think they also share movie space which I've seen the movie right over here to the right on this beach area. Here's a look at that ship slide. I don't know if they share the movie, the like outdoor movie area, or if where we walked earlier, if Yacht Club does it there. But, oh, look at the, they've got a little fire pit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have it. There's chairs set up out there. I, I feel like I've seen it right here before. I could be wrong. Maybe it was on the lawn of the other one. I know I've seen it on the lawn of one of these. Oh, Yacht and Beach Club Resort Activities. Maybe this will tell us 
what it does. So they share the arcade, which we showed you. They share marina rentals, poolside activities. They share the campfire. That's from 7.30 to 8.30. Painting in the vineyard, they share. Looks like they share some of those. Movie Under the Stars. So located on the beach at Disney's Beach Club Resort. That answers it. So you're sharing the movies. Here's what they're showing. So today's a Saturday. They'd be showing Sleeping Beauty out here on the beach area. This is a very helpful sign. They share the fitness center too that we showed you. So a lot of amenities that they share because they're right next to each other. Other than that, we're going to walk over to Epcot. It's really not that far of a walk. I'll maybe show just a couple scenes of it and then I'll stop the video there until we get back into the room because I've pretty much shown the resort. And then tomorrow we can let you know how the shower was, let you know how the beds were. We've got a little outdoor beach volleyball going on here. But literally this is just the walk. Maybe five minutes from here is Epcot. You can see this sign that says walkway to International Gateway at Epcot. So right on over this hill, right down the hill, you will be at Epcot. And here you go, Epcot's right here. So I'm gonna turn the video off for now. We'll pick it back up when we make it to our room. I might show you the resort at nighttime if we stay over here till dark. Um, and that'll be it so far. So we really didn't stay too long at Epcot. We just got some drinks, walked around for a little bit. Um, I think we're gonna head back in the room. I've got some editing to do and just kind of hang out in the room for a little bit. I think we will make a pit stop at the Beach Club gift shop to see if we can find one of those Yacht Club pins because the Yacht Club gift shop was not very good. Kind of strange, but I've never seen a cat at a Disney resort. There is a cat right here hanging out at the Beach Club. Good resort to hang out at. Very cool. Yeah. That is something you don't see every day on Disney property. Oh yeah, that's such a pretty cat. Oh. That is not, that is not an animatronic, but if it is, props to Disney. So their gift shop, right as you come in those doors, over to the right back here, and it is much larger than the Yacht Club. We just asked a cast member if they have like the Yacht Club or Beach Club pins, and they said they just ran out, so they're waiting on a shipment to get back in. So we will have to postpone getting that this trip, but you can get them at Disney Springs even when they get back in, so not worried about it, but currently they are out. It looks like they're starting to open the slide back up and possibly the pool back up. Since, what do we, say it went till 10 or 11, the pool, so there's still, you know, three, four more hours left. So it looks like they're getting ready to open that back up for everyone. Made it back to the room. I think we're just gonna chill out for a little bit and hang out in the room. I didn't realize the curtains in here are like all the stars. All right, so currently did a mobile order for the Ale and Compass Marketplace that we showed earlier. Super easy, did it from the room, hit prepare my order. Now just going to grab it. You can see pickup is right down here at the end. That was really fast. I've got this ham and cheese on a pretzel bun. Timber got an uncrust bowl, which came with applesauce, apple juice, grapes. I guess mine or hers came with chips. And then I got some mayo packets. So honestly, not a bad deal. And it didn't take hardly any time at all. Just walked down there, basically sat there for two minutes, grabbed it and came back up. Honestly, this is a really good sandwich. Look at all of the ham they put in there. All right, I think that does it for today. It was a fun day so far, minus the weather, but other than that, it's been a good day. So we will pick up tomorrow. It's currently the next morning. Currently did a mobile order for the Ale and Compass Lounge downstairs for breakfast. So we're going to pick that up. Um, super easy to do, we'll see how the breakfast is. So the app shows the Ale and Compass restaurant to go. So we might actually physically have to go into the restaurant instead of the lounge. We can go in here and ask. Here is a helpful tip. If you mobile order at the Ellen Compass restaurant to go, it's not actually the lounge, it's the restaurant. And she said it'll pop up in a bag right here at the front. All right, here's the spread we got. A little frustrated though, because I also had a side of bacon and they forgot it. So we could go back down there. I mean, it wasn't extra, it was included as a side, but 
we don't really have we're going to check out here soon but they did forget the bacon they got her bacon not my bacon but other than that it did take a little while on the app it does say uh wait times would just be like you ordered normally at a restaurant so it wasn't like mobile orders faster it's just um and so you don't have to physically go to the restaurant last look at the globe before we head out ah oh, and at least it's not rainy today it's nice out that's all right though there's the bus stop right there one more look at the resort and we're turning this way there's the conference center we didn't do a tour of but just looks like a just like a typical or convention center i should say not conference center convention center all right that was our trip out to the yacht club here at disney world honest review is i didn't think it was as good as i thought it was going to be yeah. uh, especially for the price right. i think uh, when we did the tour at the grand destino tower that's just as good of a stay as this is I thought it was a better, stay. better stay for half the price the one two perks of this resort though one being the location you can easily walk to two of the parks and two being their pool but as you saw in our video if it's raining can't really do much there but just a normal room i mean it was nothing special um i mean it wasn't bad but honestly for a deluxe resort you would kind of want a little bit more out of it so i would definitely go with grand destino tower over this one Is that, that's um, not even considered no deluxe, it's just so. moderate yeah I mean, and animal kingdom lodge yeah wilderness lodge wilderness. And we haven't stayed at Polynesian or Grand Floridian yet. But as far as this one goes, I'm glad we got to stay. But for the price, if it's not on sale, even if it is on sale, I don't think I would choose this one. I would choose somewhere else too. Anyway, hopefully that gave you an overview of the resort. And with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.